Hello everyone. So in this video, I'll be walking guys through how are we able to learn about uh, conditional rendering. So basically what does it means is that we must be able to uh, like direct and show which particular component that we should be uh, like choosing on based on a particular condition. If, if it's true, then we should show condition one. If it's false, we should show condition two. Okay. So basically this is this is the conditions that we should be uh, like creating and if, and with that condition we should be uh, like showing and directing them to which particular uh, respective and appropriate component that it should be showing so in this case i have a title here so let's say let's say i have a, I have a i mean the first part here i should have is a condition so let's say the condition here which is the first condition let's say condition condition like this so what what are going to do for example let me just make it comment it for a while okay so this is the condition here let's say the condition is true i would like to show title and let's say a condition is false i would like to show another component called i mean i would say title 2 in this case in this case this is going to be title 1 so, so some simple random stuff like this so this is how are we able to make uh, uh, like condition so but then the problem in react and jsx is that we can't be having if else condition so if else conditions is not actually is not a, like it won't work in in jsx that and that and that's the reason why we need to have a separate uh, like method i mean it's a different method where we can actually make it uh, more actually working so that's what it, what you're going to use in this case we're going to use a ternary uh, condition or you can also say operator condition and and and, and so on that's that's most uh, commonly used uh, terms to describe this types of condition which is, which, is, which which will be able to uh, work in jxx at the same time and also it is far more uh, efficient because it, it has less number of uh, code that we should write we should be writing so that's let, let's get started so that's how we that's how this is basic idea of how the condition would work so let's create the condition first the condition that can be any form in this case i would like to make a state and the state is where we're gonna like we're gonna make make it as a basis is it a true is it a true state or a false state so let's go and create that so in this case i'll have to create a, a i mean yeah it's a use state function so use state function means like i can just use type use state and I can, let's just look for use state snippet and yeah as you can see here use use state snippet has already been created and also i need to I need to import use state from the react as well like you put comma here put an open and curly braces fill up with use state like this and as you can see here whenever when we set the first state actually we are actually making the state the variable calls first and and that's and then we are actually making it uh, initially it's a uh, second so let's make this particular uh, uh, condition to be a toggle because we're gonna make it to be toggle to false and for toggle back to true so that's how we, we're gonna do so in this case i'll have to change this name to set toggle and initially this toggle is going to be false so just going to remove the uh yeah the quotation marks so i'm just going to say false initially and by default it's going to be false okay now we have just made a toggle variable which is equals to false in in react this is how the basic condition basic way to actually uh, uh how do you say yeah make it a variable using state okay so now let's make it make this condition to be uh yeah let's fill up this condition area here so let's the thing is if only if my uh toggle is true then i must i must be showing title equals to one so that's what i like to do here so in order to do that i need to open and close a curly braces because this is a uh, javascript you're going to write the javascript code here so in this case i'm going to say toggle okay so only when the toggle is true which is it's going to be a ternary uh operator so i'm just going to say a question mark like this and there needs to be two uh methods inside here for example there needs to be uh like for example i like to make it uh first sorry it's gonna be like this uh first condition i mean first this, this is the this is the condition this is the true condition okay so it's going to be true condition uh or, or, or you can say true uh yeah true and this is going to be false okay what i did here is just basically i'm just like making it uh, like 
like I'm just gonna remove this for a while. So as you can see, I'm just gonna I just made it. I should make it like an uh, HTML or, or like a H1 tag like this. And closing H1. So what I'll do here, I'm just gonna say true. So it's just this gives you some basic idea what a ternary operator even means. So I'm just gonna say H1 here also. But in this case, it's gonna be false. Okay. So let's say let's I'd like to make it. Uh, okay. So what I did here, whenever when we have toggle, as a condition. When toggle is true, it should show the first, uh, the first condition like this. I mean, the, yeah. And then the, when when the uh, toggle is false, we need to show the second condition, which is false here. So that's what I just did it here. This 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 is the basic idea of how ternary operator is. So I have to click save. And there you go. It says false. The reason why it's false, not it's not because of uh, the thing because it's here. It's because it's actually when I, this this condition is actually uh, taking the second condition. The, the reason why it's taking the second condition because it's false. You can name this in anything. I would say second condition. Okay. Something like this. Click save. And there you go. The reason why it's taking the second condition and it's not taking the first one is because the first one it will take when it's true. For example, let's say I'm just gonna make this thing to be uh sorry, just gonna say condition and this is gonna be first. Okay. So what I what I did here, I just made it uh of course I mean because we since it's false, we the it will show second condition. Let's say if I make it true. Now make the toggle to be true by default as you can see here it shows the first condition the reason why it was shows uh, first condition is because it's true okay so that's that's this is the basic idea of how are we going to make use of ternary operator in this particular part of the video so now right now we have only able to show the h1 and h2 tags this is some basic text let's say if i would like to show components instead let's say i have a component called title like this and in this case i would like to uh, Fill up the first one whenever when it's true. I like to I like to make the first one to be title, okay? Because that's not title one, title two. It's just title here. But we can actually make it a different way of actually showing. In this case, I like to show props. I mean, not not props. Sorry, headline here. Headline. In this case, I would like to make it. I'm going to close the bracket. I'm going to pass the props. So I would say true. I mean, first condition. Or you can say true. This is true. Okay, this is when the toggle is true. And the next thing is I like to make it, let's bring this thing down here. Instead of yeah, instead of making it and I'm gonna remove this comments here. So I'll have to bring this down. And you can also like uh yeah, as you can see here, this is a open and close curly braces, so you can actually bring it down also, or you can just make it some intention in yeah, indent like this. Or and the next thing is that let's make another component. I mean the same we use the same component but we change the name of the props that we are passing let's say in this case the headline is not this is true uh, false sorry okay so this is some simple uh, idea of how are we going to make use of props the same props we can you can also use you can also use a different prop but in this case let's just make use of the same prop but we're just going to use it uh, for the same condition but with, but with different uh, in terms of uh, we are passing the different uh, props in this case the headline is true but when 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 we are when the toggle is false, we're gonna make the headline to be false. So that's that's the basic uh, condition rendering. I mean, yeah, toggle. I mean, uh, component rendering that we like to show. And let's see what happens when I uh, click. I mean, of course, we need to make sure in the in the uh, in the title component we must be receiving the headline instead of. I mean, we don't have any separate rule. And uh, let's let's make, remove the separate rule because I have did a separate rule in the previous uh, video. In this case, I like to make it headline. Okay, so as you can see here, I just made this particular uh, array. I mean, sorry, props. This is a props, by the way, but I've already destructured. Usually, it will be like props like this, and then we make it uh, like dot headline. But in this case, instead of just direct, we can just directly make it into a destructured method, which is just need to add curly braces and the name of the props that I'll pass in. And that's it. Let's go back and let's click save. Okay, as you can see here, it is actually passing the this is the headline okay and this is the separate rule because the reason why is because uh, since it's true we are passing the headline and
okay yeah because we have not saved all the files here. we need to save all here like this and there you go that's how you make it okay so we basically what we did here when the, when the condition is true we're gonna make it we're gonna make the first one to be outputted as i mean the, we're gonna output the first uh, component and let's say if we make it false here okay i mean false yeah this case is going to be false let's click save and there you go this is false and this is how this is the basic way of how are we able to make use of uh, components uh, like we're going to make uh, rendering based on conditions and we're going to render the components based on the condition that we set in this case the condition is toggle okay so thank you guys for watching this video till the end and i hope that you have learned something new today and let's move on to the next uh, topic in the upcoming videos. Thank you.